Hi YouTube, Montman579 here, and this will be my first episode in my series, Let's Make a Texture Pack. So yeah, let's get started in it. So, this is going to be kind of interesting, because this time I'm not actually going to be, um, well, um, I'm not going to be, unlike a lot of people, um, showing it off as soon at the end of the episode. If you want to see how they look, I am going to do a Let's Play of it, and if, uh, and, yeah, I might make this a public texture pack if people ask for it. So, yeah, let's start with the anvil base. Okay. So, as you can see, um, I want this to look so, a bit darker than our iron, and so... Our smelted iron, I want to be pretty light, so like that. So I'll make this be like that, yeah. Then, boom, I will change this to one. Uh, actually, I will change it to one as soon as I get that all that color. There, and now I will go to my dodge and burn tool, and I will burn it. And, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I will click overwrite, and yeah, I'm using the default resource pack thing, and um, you can probably find this pretty easily if you look it up, um, look up other um, YouTube videos of how to make a uh, um, texture pack, so yeah, so yeah, I'm just stating that right now, um, I, um, I, I'm not good at posting links to this stuff, so you guys will have to find it. Um, there are, well, um, a bunch of videos of how to make, um, texture packs do have it, so. Okay, hard edge, two, three, and I want this to go like that. Okay, then on the other side. So I'm not really sh changing the shape of anything at all. Um, except I might change um the shape of like items, of course. But um, for these, I'm going to keep it like this. So this is damage zero. So I will overwrite and then Control C. Go to damage one. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Control V. So there we have that. Um, now, since it's damage one, I'm just going to um, make it a bit darker using my burn tool. Just going to make a few more dark spots. Like it's been used some um, hit by... Um, Heavy metal things and hot things there. So that's damage one. Control. Wait, I want to overwrite first. Boom. Control C. Control C. Make sure I do it. Now, for um, when it's about to break, um, I want it to be pretty darn um, broken. So I can exit that now. Now, for damage two, I'm going to do it quite a bit. So there we go. Now it's nice and broken up looking. And I will go ahead and just overwrite that. And close it. And okay. So, we've done that. Now it's time for the beacon. Okay. This should be pretty simple. Now, I'll probably get pretty far each episode. I'm going to start with blocks and then um, I'll, I'll do, probably do um, mobs last. But, yeah. And then armors, uh, icons first before armors and all that stuff. Okay. 
So, um, this is the beacon. I Now, um, this is the top of the beacon, I guess. Um, I think the other stuff is just what obsidian looks like. I don't know. But, um, to be honest, actually, um, I want this to be a dark bluish green color. A bit more blue. Okay. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Control Z. Hardness 1. And I'm going to do this a bit differently by, um, going, ah, not like that. No. Control Z. Control Z. So I'm going to literally just stay on their little lines here for this part. That doesn't look right. So I'm going to um I'm gonna fill this place in with my bluish green color. And the rest of it I will make be a um be a darker version of it. So like that. And I will make Every um, other part of this like that. Make it all um, this darker color. So, ba-boom. Ba-boom. So, as you can see, they're slightly different. And um, in case you haven't noticed, I really want this to be a lot different than others. Like, um, I really liked how in um, Doku Craft... How, um, they have an orange beacon, if I'm remembering it correctly. Um, there's this orange, and I really liked that. So, to burn, and let's burn this. Then, now I want to make sure we keep the slider, so I'm going to dodge this area. And keep this lighter than the others. No, I think that's a little too much. Just go, ba boom. No. Hmm. I'm going to kind of draw a circle with this and stay in that. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look the best, but I can go with it. So, close without saving. Now, it does save, as you can see, all of these. I don't know if you can see them, but say if we click on our beacon again. Um, it is still, um, how we made it, see? Now, the bed, now that's going to be kind of hard to do. So, hmm. So, making these, like, um, 20-minute episodes means I'll get pretty darn far into this. So, I actually, what I like to do for beds is to make them a dark blue. So, make this part right here be a dark blue color. Okay... Like that. And then the wood to be a dark brown. So I can just go like this. And I really like beds when they're like that. Just because, um, I don't like how cheery they usually look. I think that a bed would look harder. Not harder, um. Like, say, um, at least my bed is, n at my house, is, it's not, um, very bright. Like, it's a pretty smart bed, but, uh, I'm getting off track. Anyways, now, I'm going to quickly burn this part of this, then part of the blanket. So, there we go. File over right now let's exit that oh wait forgot to do something I forgot to copy it 
because the next part is literally just like um, this, except we remove one of the legs. That's all I need to do. So, ba-boom. Let's go like this. Boom, control V. Except what we're going to do is use the racer size 1 hard edge to just remove this. See? We already have that done. Right there. Then I'm going to copy uh, the blanket. Only the blanket. Control C. Um, and now now that we have that we'll go to the top oh wait I forgot to save this so boom override boom close without saving and then um, at this one we want to do the same thing so now I want to just um uh, zoom in here real quick and now I'm going to select it and select it go control V so we've got that that way I can just go control C control V and keep copying and pasting it now I will have I am going to change it a bit but this is just so that I can get the right stuff um, and now what I like to do is um, keep a black color and try to make a creeper face. Don't know if this will work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Because I'm not that good at this stuff. Now I'm just going to make it not look like I just copy and paste it by making this a bit darker. Doom. Then I'll, I'll dodge it a bit. Make it a bit brighter in some places. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Now over right. And close without saving. Now for the bed feet and um I actually need to copy this one. They're both bed feet ends but once for but once for the bed head and once for the bed feet. C. Now, boom. Go to this one. Ah, give me a dish. Zoom in. Boom. Control V. Then exit that. Close without saving. Then I am going to keep it a white pillow just because. Most p ah, I didn't mean to do that. Most pillows without cases do happen to be white. Go and keep it more like a gray. So I'm just going to do this and just you know make this a pillow. And then I'll dodge it a bit. And there, we have a pillow. Now that we have that, I actually need to copy this. Control C. Over right. Um, and um, when we're at the side, this is when it gets a bit more complicated. Because we need to have all of the components. So I'm going to um uh, go like this. Control V. Remove um this leg here. And then um I am going to have to open this. Use my color picker, grab the blue, go back to this one. No, not that one. Uh, this one, now that I have it, go, ba boom, 
Boom, boom. Let me just color this part with it. Then I just need to dodge it. Ah, uh, not dodge, I meant burn, but that doesn't look too bad. Now I can uh, overwrite. Close all of those. Close without saving, close without saving. Ba Boom. There, we finished our bed. Darn it. No, we haven't. We still have one more. Okay, so for this, I am going to have to grab this and copy it. And then um, I think I can get the gray pretty close anyways. But, control C. I am going to use a color picker just in case. So, let's zoom in. Control V. And then let's take this color picker, grab part of the white, and then now, wait, it's facing this side, yeah, making sure I'm doing the side it's supposed to face, correct, so just go ba-boom, ah, Ba-boom. Okay. And now that we have our pillow, we can go ahead and give it some detail so that people know that it is, in fact, a pillow. And then overwrite the bed top. And close without saving. Boom. There, now we have completely finished the bed. I'm happy about that. Now, um, it's time for the bedrock. Man, there is a lot of stuff I'm going to have to do. And that's only for the block section. Oh, the lava. Man, it's going to be fun to do all of this. So I think the final thing I'm going to do for this part is the bedrock. Okay. So, the bedrock, bedrock always can have a cool texture, but I'm going to take this up a step farther by making it not too dark, making it all that color, changing this to one. And actually taking a deep red. And I'm going to add a few splotches of that. Then I'm going to use my smudge tool to actually smudge it together. Giving me a actual um, reddish tint to my bedrock. So it's not too visible, but still... Um, I'm going to add a few more. So, it's just going to make it cool, basically. If, if you look and you see a few red. Now I will just burn it. Then dodge it some. There, that's pretty cool looking bedrock. If you ask me, I think we did pretty good this episode. So, yeah. I think that's it for now, and I will see you later, YouTube.